Hey everyone, it is Kim Crumpus here from the Price Action Traders Institute. It is Tuesday, September 17th. Today I want to talk about an outrageously big trade that happened during the New York session on the pound dollar. Before we begin, let's go ahead and just, I want to remind quickly everyone about the risk disclosure. And by now, everyone should know that trading is a really risky venture. There's never any guarantees or promises or representations about the level of success that you will achieve. So let's go ahead and get out to the charts. Okay, so you are looking at the pound dollar from today. And I just want to briefly go over the setup. So first things first, the pair was ranging during the Asian session. There was a slight break here to the downside. Uh, right after the start of London, it never went anywhere, came back inside the, the overnight price move in Asia, and then just went sideways before we began the New York session. We had a false break right here. You can see price sucked back and closed inside the range, but then we got this beautiful break here on the, let's see what time this is, the 6.30 a.m. candle, so when New York opened, all right? So the setup was the ranging price action during the Asian session, it broke to the downside falsely in at the start of London. And then at the start of New York on the New York Open, we had one false break. And then we finally got the break on the New York Open right here on this candle. And if you measure from this break and you took this trade, this trade moved up to this first leg about 58 pips and it moved up a total of 92 pips. And let's say you didn't take the break. For instance, I don't trade range breaks on the pound dollar. So I was sidelined looking for pullbacks. And the first pullback was right in here. There was also what we call momentum trading, which was in here. If you know what that means, we have certain requirements. As a PADI member, member you learn all about that. But if you didn't, there was your first pullback here. There was also a pullback here, a little getting a little bit later in the session, but just taking it from this first pullback zone, this trade moved up about 50 pips, all right? And from the second pullback area right here, if you missed that first one, it moved up about 39 pips. All right, so there was this big move. Again, this move, this break that sustained itself was about a 92 pip move right here. And then there was incremental moves. There was also a momentum trade in here, which again, you learn about all these rules on how to capture these moves when you're part of the membership. All right, so that's it for now. I hope some of you caught this trade. It was a big trade today, and that's why it qualifies for our trade of the day. So let's go ahead and just briefly talk about our process. Here are the trading guidelines that we suggest. One, you have to have a planning process. It has to be simple, otherwise you won't follow it. It's been proven that traders will not follow a trade plan or a planning process even if it's complex. You wanna be able to identify your setups throughout your plan. If you can't do that quickly, then your plan probably isn't as useful as you might think it is. This planning process, identifying your setups, will help you choose which pair of pairs you want to trade. And then of course, it's up to you to execute on your trades. So here are our trading guidelines. You have to have a planning process. Your planning process should be simple. If it's not simple, you won't do it. It won't help you identify your setups and you'll just be at the mercy of the market and you'll just end up diving into a sea of utter confusion and chasing the market. We don't want you to do that. When you have a simple planning process, it helps you identify your setups. You then can choose which pair of pairs you want to trade and you decide when you want to execute on your trade plan. All right. Please go to our website at priceactiontradersinstitute.com. You can find a lot of other free videos and information on our website. You can also email me at info at priceactiontradersinstitute.com and me or someone on my team will get back to you. And then of course, we trade on Twitter at Price Action Kim. We don't answer technical questions on Twitter because we're live trading. I'm live trading, but we're happy to help you in any way that we can. All right. So thank you for listening. And I hope this video helps you in some small way. And please enjoy your evening or your day. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.